Yeah. My mom got what she wanted. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing will be malicious if the mom actively did this to Tom. I don't think so, but that's just oh man, that just hurts, man. Oh god, luckily I have uh, tissues with me in my in right this because I knew I was gonna this was gonna happen. Joey, get in here. You bellowed. You bellowed. Mm-hmm. Leah, are you there? Oh. It's you, Bestower. Kendra is safe, Leah. You mean she's... She's moved on. She said goodbye to her father, and she said... She said she'll miss you. How could something that was so right go so horribly wrong? I went to a few meetings, and then I knew I had to join the police academy. It was like a lightning bolt. Wait. What kind of meeting? So lost, so hungry for direction and not knowing where to it's go. It's like what Gavin was doing. Us searching for that elusive something. That oh no 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 no, no 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 no! The meetings at Grace somehow gave them to us. There's another gave Gavin. Them to you? Yes. No matter how confused we were, we all found our way. But this, all this was the price. Mm -hmm. Leah, I need you to focus and tell me what happened. I loved being a cop. I loved being a mother. I did good, didn't I? I thought I did. And you, you do good. That's what I heard. You always help, right? I help the dead. That's what I'm counting on. Oh, no, no, what? no, no. No! Holy sh Jesus! Jesus Christ! Did, did it work? Why, Leah? Why do this? I'm sorry, but it's the only way. My only escape is through you. I know what you did for Kendra. Now do the same for me, please. Please, before they come for me. Uh, sure. Okay, Leah, here's how it works. That's Officer Piero to you, and I know how it works. A jerk right, to the end. saves time. Red here is going to take you somewhere safe, and when she does, you're going to have a chat, okay? Fine, fine. Let's just do this quick. Hear me? Don't off let this one just fly off into the light. Don't worry. All right then. It's so quiet here. That little room was quiet, but not like this. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm hearing everything and nothing at the same time. Can you hear it? No, but Kendra said something similar. Is she? There somewhere? Yes. But Leah, before you go, I need you to tell me how you got this way. What led you to this? We called it the Grace Group because we met at Grace Church. Mm -hmm. We met once a week. We would talk. It, it was, was nice. Right. So it was kind of a self help group? Kind of. Kind of? What did you talk about? Funny, I don't remember. All I know is that it worked for all of us. If someone it has to be, yeah. We all learned what we were meant to be. I joined the police academy and never looked back. George discovered a love of art, made a killing as a dealer. George won't be out there, will he? He's mm -hmm. gone. He risked himself, and then he... Oh, what was that? Oh no, Leah, get through the light, quick. I... I can't move. How did they find me? Here of all places. I don't know, just try and hold on. You were supposed to help us. I'm trying, please. I just need time. Whoa. No. Not again. How? Who is... Not again. Soul Ripper, man. Who is doing it? Hey, you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. We were too late. Too late? She was taken, just like George was. Mm -hmm. All she went through, she did it for nothing. I refuse to believe that. I just can't. Did she say anything? Anything yep, exactly. at all that could help us? There wasn't time. And there was something else. Something else? How did you get in here? Oh, crap, the cops. Leah? Um, look, I can explain. Turn around. Hands behind your head. No, wait, listen, I don't have time for this. I said turn around. Hands behind your head. On the floor. Please, just... Now!
Uh, okay, that worked. Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be out. What can I do for you? Are you the owner of this establishment? My name's on the sign. Ah, uh, so you are Malone. That's me. And you are? My name is Madeline. And your friend? <clears throat> Jocelyn Contis. Shock. Pleasure to meet you both. Mm. Like most lost spirits, he seems unaware of his circumstances. Malone. Hi there. What can I do you for? Uh, what happened here? You mentioned an assistant. Where is he? Danny? I have no idea where he is. So we're a bit short-staffed, but nothing I can't handle. We'll handle that costume of yours with extra care. Costume? That gown of yours looks very authentic. I don't even think you can get that fabric these days. <sighs> I've become antiquated so soon. No offense meant, I, I quite like it. The tiara's a nice touch. Brings out your eyes. <laughs> well, I always thought so. But you are mistaken. We are not leaving my costume here with you. We have other business. <laughs> Madeline is definitely from like the eight, maybe the 17 or 1600s. Uh, you are dead. Malone, I regret that it falls to me to tell you that you are dead. What? Get out of town. Now, can I help you or what? Madeline, does that ever work? <sighs> No, it does not. A running joke. It never works. What happened here? I love it. What do you mean? This shop. It is, shall we say, it looks shot up. Shot up? Look, I know the cleaning lady hasn't been in this week, but it ain't that bad. Now, can I help you or what? I will return presently. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, well, we will see. My host? Yeah. About that window. What? We needed to get in, didn't we? Well, we're in. I suppose I cannot argue with the results. Mm. Darn suitin'. Any thoughts on this lost soul? Seems nice enough. Any useful thoughts? No. Let's just get this done. <laughs> yes. I believe we should return to our duty, my host. Yeah, sure. Jocelyn, the Countess. She don't want to do this at all. Like, I'm not even here. Jeez. What happened here? I ain't putting my fingers in those. There might be blood in there. Hey, Madeline? Yes, my host. So, what should we do about that guy? That guy, as you put it, needs our help. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get it. The sooner we get rid of him, the sooner we can leave. Jeez. Well, see ya. Certainly, my host. Dead guy. Doesn't even look- Hey. Miss Contis, what can I help you with? The bullet holes. So, who shot up this place? Hey. Come on, this place looks like the set of a gangster flick. I don't know what you mean. Mm. Uh, so, did you see who smashed up your window? What are you talking about? The window looks fine to me. Right, of course it does. Totally agree with you. <laughs> are you seriously telling me that this place looks normal? Listen, everything here is top of the line. We're even looking into that dry, dry cleaning, cleaning stuff. stuff. What cleaning? Dry cleaning. It's... Look, never mind. Can I help you with anything or what? <laughs> Joey. Well, see you around. Sure. Dry cleaning. Great technology. The interesting thing I love the um, the details is it is that dead guy, right? That's what the contest see because she doesn't like this job. But Madeline sees Joey as Malone, his last name. Malone. Hi there. What can I do? The subtle for? little. I love that in this game do things like that. You should take a closer look at the walls and windows. They are definitely not what they should be. You sure talk funny, lady. There isn't anything wrong with the windows that I can see. I will return presently. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Mm hmm Huh. Some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Hmm. Malone. Hi there. What can I do you for? I will return presently. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. I believe these were caused by a pistol. The notice reads, please ring bell for service. Mm-hmm. Malone. 
Hi there. What can I do you for? for? I will return. Take your time. Does she look at the post? Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. So garish. So very judgmental for a woman for like 200 years before my time, you know? Both these nice looking it. fella. Shame about him being dead and all. Hey. Miss Contis, what can I help you with? You into music? You into music? I saw that poster on the wall. Oh, that's Danny's thing. Danny. The guy who runs this place with me, him and his girl, Linda. Mm -hmm. They're in a band. If you can call it that. They play weekends sometimes. He wants to make it big, but, uh... But what? But nothing. Danny just needs to focus on earning an honest living, that's all. Do Danny and Linda have regular gigs? I don't know. Why? I might want to hear him play. Save your eardrums, lady. That's my advice. <laughs> well, see you around. Sure. Yep, see you around. An honest living. Malone. Hi there. What can I do you for? Very uh, fortuitous what happens the other game. I could not help but overhear your conversation with my colleague. This Danny Marconi. <laughs> this Danny Marconi. Is he not? What makes you think that? Your energy, your aura, if you will. It changes when you speak of him. So tell us, what is Danny to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Malone, you know precisely what I am talking about. And mm. you will tell us. You will tell us. I assure you, you will feel much better once you do. I'll feel much better once you leave my shop. She's running Jedi mind tricks on you. I could leave as you request, but I don't believe you want me to. Not really. Well, mm -hmm. do you? I. Who the hell are you people? We are here to help. Nothing more. You are so close now. So close. Mm hmm. Does it real? Yep. Sees the holes. Why is everything so confusing? It does not have to be. Life used to be so simple. Then Danny had to go follow a pipe dream. He had to make deals with club promoters. Club promoters he couldn't pay. So they showed up here. I told Danny to stay away while I tried to talk some sense into them. Oh, and no. did you? He got away. That's what's important. At least, I think it is. I'm not so sure anymore. I understand you now. You are adrift. You are scared. That, that explains but why. there's nothing to be scared of. Everything with the Marconi family went the way they My were. Host. Yeah. Why sorry. Lisa has that opinion, why her father beat into that they're lucky to be alive. Oh. They're only he has to touch you. Interesting. I don't know why I did it. Danny isn't much really, but he's a good guy. You think it was worth it? I don't know. Sorry. You don't have anything to say? Anything at all? Look how no, different she is, yeah. Not really. Right. So I just head that way. Yeah. Well, tell your friend thanks. And if you ever see Danny, forget it. I suppose it doesn't matter. Man, that's a bummer. My host. My host, are you all right? I knew you'd follow me in here. You can never give me a minute's peace. You should not stay here too long. Or what? I'll die. I get it now. We all thought my uncle was nuts, but he was just numb. He just mm. stopped caring about anything. Who could blame him? Trust me, my host. It is best to push those feelings aside. Why? It is what must be done. That is all. What does it matter? Listen to me. In time, you will feel different. Feel differently. Yeah. Differently. Yes. This will all feel normal. You don't want to see the end. Normal? I don't want this to be normal. Many of your predecessors felt the same. In time, things changed. I'm going dancing, Madeline. Don't wait up. Yeah. I see. I suppose after all this time, it was inevitable that one of you deciphered the method. But do you think it will be that simple? It will mm. not work. Do you hear me? 
It will destroy you. Very true. My host, Jocelyn Contest, hear me. Contest. Contest. And that's what gave us the Countess. Yeah. 2.23 a.m., Detective Corey Palmer conducting interview with... Corey Palmer. Palmer. Detective Sam Durkin also present. So, Miss Blackwell, tell us again why you were in that house. Say nothing. Tell them nothing. Keep your teeth together. We'll get out of this. Say nothing. Answer the question, Blackwell. <sighs> Don't snitch. Don't but tell the cops anything. Show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. That's your right. But your silence can and will be used against you. Remember that. Fine. Next question. What happened to Detective Piero? Miss Blackwell, I won't ask again. What happened to Detective Piero? Enough, Palma. You saw the paraffin test. Leah fired that weapon. Mm -hmm. I refuse to believe that, Sam. Yes. Believe what you want. Those are the facts. Well, here's some facts for you. This lady was chatting with Emil Haskins earlier this evening. Not only that, we have a witness who saw her sneaking into his office at work. How do you respond to that? Remain silent, my No anything. answer, huh? Well, let me lay it out for you. We spoke to the clerk on duty. We spoke to Emil Haskins, a man who is now a widower, I might add. Nobody gave you permission. But then, breaking and entering isn't really a new thing for you, is it? I've yeah. pulled your file. You even know how many restraining orders you have against you? There's a lot. Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent again. If getting banned from the campuses of NYU and, and Columbia, Columbia weren't yeah. bad enough, we've got a dozen complaints registered against you from businesses and families. I'd call Bellevue to have you taken away, but you're banned from there too. Mm-hmm. Who the hell are you? And why haven't you been taken in before now? Palmer, take a walk. Sam? You're tired, go get a cup of coffee. I don't need coffee. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. I've heard the rumors. That you've got some mysterious informant. Is this her? Palmer? Fine. I'm going. But we will find out what happened. It's our damn job, after all. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your job, all right. So, you happy now? Stay silent. Uh-huh. Look, I'm more patient. Legally, we can keep you here for 12 hours. You really want to sit here for that long? Am I under arrest? Maybe, maybe not. That depends on you. The crap you pulled tonight. Was it worth it? There's something much bigger going on. Mm -hmm. So you said. But we cops, we like things simple. Not you, though. You make things complicated just by walking into a room. What are you trying to say? Officially, we're pursuing every lead. Unofficially, there was no trace of the bullet that killed the little girl. With Leah dead, we'll most likely never solve it. The trail is too cold. So, what do you need? Um, excuse me? You want it in so bad? You're in. You won't be on the books. We can't even pay you. This case is too high profile. So, what do you need? Mm-hmm. Access to Leah's case files. Can't do it. Those are being boxed up and archived. Anything else? What about his ex A cup of coffee. Let's just, yeah. Cup of coffee? I'll let Palma get you one on the way out. Anything else? <laughs> Access to George Austin's Dallas apartment. Dallas, want to give me a cup of I'll coffee. take care of it. Anything else? Everything you know about George Austin. Palma can get you that. Speak to him tomorrow. Anything else? Nothing that I can think of. All right. From now on, you talk to Palma. He'll be at the front desk tomorrow. Detective Durkin, Sam, why are you doing this? Why me? My first case involved a kid. 30 years ago, it must have been. Mm -hmm. There was this little girl living with her aunt. The aunt went nuts, smashing things, screaming. Total loony. The little girl was hiding in a closet. Couldn't have been more than five. Scared out of her mind. I've had a soft spot for kids ever since. Uh-huh. I see. Go home, Blackwell. Get some sleep. You look like you spent the night in jail. <laughs> I spent the night in jail. But yeah, you see, it's all connected, man. I love this. Huh. 
The yeah. press are having a field day. Lots of theories, but nothing approaching the truth. You expect anything different? Just be glad your name didn't get leaked. That's the last thing we need. Mm -hmm. No trace of the Grace Group either. Then we best get out there and do what we do. Mm-hmm. 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 Coffee mug. It's an empty coffee mug. Why would I want to pick it up? I've had it for years and it's only slightly coffee stained. Hey, that's a good coffee mug then. That dog leash used to belong to my neighbor Nishanti. She gave it to me as a souvenir of how we met. Mm-hmm. I remember if you listen to Delbar commentary talk about um, that in Blackwell Legacy, it was not his most favorite thing to do the the leash puzzle we get the dog. It's uh, not up there. <clears throat> Let's talk. And the callbacks, exactly. Yep. Oh, it's you. Sam told me you'd be swinging by. Hi, Corey, was it? No, it's Officer Palmer. Where's Durkin? Is Detective Durkin around? I haven't seen him since yesterday. I'm sure he's wandering around somewhere. So Durkin told me to speak to you? Yes, I heard. Congratulations, I guess. I don't know why you're so special, but orders are orders. If you need any information from us, I'll see about getting it to you. But you talk to me, and only me. Understand? Perfectly. Sorry about Leah. I'm sorry about Leah. Don't even go there. I don't care what you saw, or what the evidence says. Leah wouldn't kill herself. Uh huh. And if she did, then she wasn't Leah anymore. I mean, you just answered it yourself. So are we good? Good? You don't think I still killed anyone, do you? I don't know what to believe. But Durkin vouches for you, and he now owes me a favor, a big one. So, I guess I come out ahead. Mm. You seem to be taking Leah's death rather personally. Yeah. The chief would agree with you. That's why I'm shackled behind this desk and set out there doing something. Mm -hmm. So, what's the latest on George Austin? He was killed with a 22 caliber bullet. That's all we know so far. Yeah, the, the, the winter jogger. Husband, but he's got a pretty solid alibi. How did Kendra die? Was that ever established? I read the autopsy report. It was definitely a bullet wound. What? Right her shoulder. Oh she no, he she the coroner said that she bled to death, but could have survived if she was brought to a hospital right away. I don't understand this. Not at all. Oh, I thought she died from hyperthermia. She sh Oh my lord. He shot Oh my gosh, she shot her own daughter. Jesus. Did you know Emil Haskins at all? I don't know much. Just what Leah used to tell me. I got the impression he was a deadbeat. Always out of a job, always late with child support payments, things like that. Guess he doesn't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Hmm. So what's the story with you and Leah? I get the impression you knew her pretty well. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Mm -hmm. I partnered with her back when I first joined the force. She taught me a lot. Everything, really. I owe her. She was a rock. She was a rising star. Why would she flip out like she did? I'm working on it, Corey. I really am. That's Officer Palmer, and I'm not holding my breath. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you can tell me about Leah? Officer Piero was juggling a demanding job, a growing daughter, and a deadbeat ex-husband. There was immense pressure on her, but I still don't buy that she would do... Was Emil really a deadbeat? Who knows? Two sides of the story. George and Leah both were members of a self-help group. They called it the Grace Group. Oh, yeah. Leah told me about that place. She did? Yeah, she didn't go into detail, but I know it meant a lot to her. She used to tell me that nobody could ever fall so far that they couldn't still reach for a helping hand. I'm not sure what that meant, but she used to say it all the time. Okay. I guess it's... Well, I'd better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Alright, let's go check the... Let's go check the, uh... Let's go check George's, George's apartment now. Hey, there's George. I'm just gonna walk like in like nothing happened. Miss, I'm sorry, but you can't go back there. Residents only. Oh, sorry. I'm with the police. It's me, Rosangela. Hi. Yes, miss? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. I was told you'd be expecting me. Is this about George? That's right. I still can't believe it. But here's the key. 12th floor, penthouse end. Penthouse? What a... 
Hold on, whatever. Well, we made an art dealing money. That's some that's some major bread, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's in this list. Bok choy, garam masala, quinoa, branzino. It's either a shopping list or a <laughs> voodoo spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not it's voodoo. It's not voodoo. Computer. Looks like it's still in the charging dock. All right, let's check out the tablet. One missed call from a Michael. Whoever this Michael is, he seems to know quite a lot. Call me ASAP. Okay. So this Michael has a source who knows about bestowers. About me. This is starting to get personal. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Emil being violent there. I will kill Yeah, I'm not a violent person. You threaten him. I don't know. Two sides of every story, I guess. A handsome stranger on the roof. Huh? Well. Huh? This evening is looking up. Huh? Oh, hello, miss. Hello yourself. So, what brings you up here? I'm admiring the view. Just admiring the view. Funny. That's why I came out here. <laughs> uh, the view's over that way. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'd best head back in. But I'm sure I'll see you around. Ta. There's a ghost on the roof. Fantastic. We love to see that. Let's see what that note says. Whatever this note says, it's too dark to read it. Yeah. Time to use the power of the weaned. Should be able to read it from there. It says, I know about Heather. And it's signed by someone named Jay. Okay. Hi there. Well, if it isn't my handsome stranger. Coming to pay me a visit? Sure. So, what brings you by? You live here? So you actually live here, uh, so to speak. Yes. Why are you so surprised? Well, this place is kind of, well, empty. I live alone. That's not what I mean. Look around. There's nothing in here. What on earth are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Just giving up. About the furniture. Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? Cute. Very cute. Huh? Wait, you're serious? Well, isn't this delicious? It's so rare that I get to be the mysterious one. About that flauncher. I know about Heather. Do you know anything about this? About what? This note. The one on your floor. I have no idea. It has nothing to do with me. Then what's it doing here? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, relax. Relax. So, uh, about Jay? The note is signed Jay. Who's Jay? I have no idea. And I don't know anything about any note. Alright. My name's Joey. Joey Malone. Why don't you tell me yours? You honestly don't know who I am. I'm afraid not. I admit, I'm fascinated. I know your name, but you don't know mine. It's not often that I'm in this position. So, are you gonna tell, tell me, me or what? I think not. I want to savor this for just a little while longer. Uh, are you famous or something? So what is this? You famous or something? Or something. Uh... Come on, you know my name. It's only fair. I can't tell if you're being genuine or if you're just playing with me. Why not both? Well, the night is young. See if you can figure it out. Uh, Alright. It's really important you tell me your name. Could I ask you a couple questions? You don't even know my name, and you want to ask me questions. Well, maybe if you actually told me your name. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like I said, this is way too much fun. Okay. Listen, it's really important that you tell me who you are. What on earth could be so important? It's complicated. No. No, I don't think so. I'm enjoying this way too much. All right, we gotta well, figure out who you whoever are. Whoever you are, I'll see you around. Say hi to George for me if you see him. All right. 
I got a new email about leaks. The Frank Leon, the cheap son. Yep, Mr. Durkin. Hey, download it. Cool. Corey Palmer. Cool. Check my notes section. The Carth file. I got Michael's phone number. We go. To, we can probably go to the to Corey Palmer and ask. Let's go to the library. Let's go to the lobby and see if we can get any information from um from a good friend here. Hi. Yes, miss. Do you know who lived in the apartment across from George? I'm afraid not. I only started working here a few months ago. That apartment has been vacant the whole time. <sighs> of course. Of course. All right. Thanks to another door, man. Hey, did you like the video? Remember to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell as well to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at atgetsilius or my Twitch channel, which is in the description below. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.